Okay, dear students, we have another activity with the name of activity four. This is also from the book, and this uh, activity covers a special topic, and that is reapportionment. We have already studied reapportionment first, but there is a, a different method of reapportionment, and that is known as reciprocal method or continuous allotment method. Now, what is this continuous allotment or reciprocal method? But as you may have uh, studied first that reapportionment means that all of the overhead relating to service department would need to be transferred to which departments would need to be transferred to better production departments. Okay, so this is known as reapportionment. But the reapportionment that we used to study is that one service department works for another or and in return, the other service department doesn't work for the first department. So that was known as step down method. Okay. Uh, and this in reciprocal uh, method, both of the service departments are working for each other. So now we would see that if both of the service departments are working for each other, how can we get rid of the service department over it? Okay. Now let me read the question for you, exercise for you. QSL carpets manufactures carpets in two production departments. One is coloring department and another one is manufacturing department okay we manufacture the uh, carpet and then we color it maybe so it has two service departments as well and that are stores and maintenance okay stores department is department that provide the raw material to the production department and maintenance is basically looks after the machines okay to repair and maintain the machines the following information available for the year ended 31st December 2019 total over it for the departments are already given better Coloring department total over it is this and manufacturing stores and maintenance. So basically they have already done the allocation and apportionment and what we need to do, we need to do the reapportionment. Okay. Now let us write this over it uh, in four columns. Uh, coloring manufacturing are two of the production department and stores and maintenance are what? Uh, they are the service department. So what we need to do better? We need to reapportionment, uh, reapportion the service department based on now see uh, it is saying that store department uh, overhead should be apportioned 60% to the coloring department. Okay, this means the stores have uh, provided the uh, material 60% of the times to coloring department and only 20% of the time to manufacturing department and 20% of the time to maintenance department as well. Why? Because maintenance department must have uh, the maintenance uh, uh, maybe uh, things such as uh, maybe cleaning a uh, cloth microfiber cloth or maybe uh, detergents or maybe cleaning lubricants and all this uh, so all of these store uh, supplies you can say them store supplies okay so these supplies would also be uh, supplied to what department maintenance department so stores want to apportion 20 percent of their overhead to maintenance department and what about the maintenance department maintenance department also want to uh, charge the overhead to these two production department but Maintenance also want to charge this over it to stores department in return. Okay. Now, as you can see, beta, both stores and maintenance are working for each other. So previously, the question that we did uh, in that uh, the step down method of uh, one service department used to work for another, but the other service department only used to work for the production department and not for the other service department. So let us see how would we do that better this uh, using the continuous allotment method also known also known as the reciprocal method okay you scratch my back and i'll scratch yours this is reciprocal method so uh, reapportion the total overhead of the service department to the production department now the question here arises sir okay uh, we would be uh, doing the reapportionment for what department first for first for stores department or first for maintenance department now you can uh, make this rule of thumb that whichever department, uh, whichever service department has a uh, greater overhead cost should be started first. Okay, stores total department overhead is twenty four thousand, but maintenance is more than stores that is thirty six thousand. So it's better to start with maintenance. Okay, so although it's an estimate, but the estimate would be better if we start with a uh, uh, service department overhead which has greater cost. Okay, so the greater cost is thirty six thousand and not twenty four. So we need to get rid of this 36 department uh, total overhead and this maintenance overhead should be divided between these three department on what basis 
uh, the basis would be better 50 40 and 10 percent okay so we need to divide this by 50 40 and 10 so 50 percent of 36 would be 18,000 and 40 percent of 36 thousand would be 14,400 and 10 percent of this 36,000 would be 3600 now as you can see for now uh, maintenance overhead is finished and maintenance has get rid of their overhead on the basis of this 50 40 and 10 okay now comes uh, the turn for stores department uh, originally the stores department had an overhead of 24000 but we have just received a bill of 3600 from which department maintenance department now we need to add up both of these now the total stores department overhead was 27600 so stores department said that this maintenance uh, uh, supplies were necessary in order to maintain the overhead in order to maintain the machines of this department okay so this overhead would also be divided among these all departments so the total overhead for stores is now 27600 and the stores would divide that overhead their overhead on what basis 60 20 and 20 okay now the 60 percent of this overhead would be given to which department coloring department and 20% of this would be given to manufacturing department, but 20% of this would be given again to maintenance department. Okay. Now the maintenance department that was previously very relaxed and considering that their work is finished now receive a share of stores department again. Okay. Now the maintenance department would repeat the same again and maintenance department again would get rid of this over it. And what basis was maintenance department using better maintenance department percentage was 50 40 10 okay so maintenance department would again reapportion on the basis of what 50 percent to coloring 40 percent to manufacturing and 10 percent to store now the question here arises sir uh, it would be uh, uh, continued forever no we would see as we can see better the major overhead is being shifted to what production department and once an overhead is shifted to production department beta, it cannot come back to uh, the service department, okay? So we need to uh, do it uh, maybe two and three steps and uh, you would see the majority of the overhead would be shifted to production department and then we can see whenever there is a uh, immaterial amount left in the service department. So we would not give it to the another service department and we would just divide it to production department. So the question arises, sir, what uh, what defines the immaterial amount and how can we decide? So normally the examiner will tell you that uh, maybe if the overhead is uh, only $200, then this would be considered as immaterial or maybe $100. So if the examiner doesn't say anything, we can just uh, make a rule of thumb ourselves. Okay, maybe 100 sterling would be termed as immaterial. So let us do this first. Uh, so the 552 overhead of the stores department would need to be divided between other three departments on the basis of 60 20 20. Now let us do a 60 20 20 of this 552 60 percent 20 percent and 20 percent. Now as you can see better very less overhead is left and we this would be deemed as immaterial. So again if the maintenance department give their overhead to stores as well and th then the maintenance department will expect to receive some of the share back. So in order to get rid of this overhead and we if we do not want this overhead comes back to again uh, to us what we need to do we just need to divide this 110 overhead between the maintenance overhead now would be divided between coloring and manufacturing only and not the stores okay why not the stores because now we know if we give some of the uh, dollars or sterling to stores then store would give us back okay and this the cycle vicious cycle would continue forever okay so uh, to just uh, break the cycle, we just need to uh, divide the overhead between coloring and manufacturing. Now the question arises, uh, what would be the percentage if we want to divide the overhead between coloring and manufacturing? But uh, it's better now to divide the uh, maintenance overhead between coloring and manufacturing, not on the basis of 50%, 40% and 10%, but instead on this uh, proportion 50 and 40. Why? because we do not want to divide the overhead between stores department okay we just want this overhead to be shared by coloring and manufacturing and not the stores okay so instead of doing 50 upon 100 we would do 50 upon 90 why because 50 plus 40 becomes 90 okay 50 upon 90 multiplied by 110 would be 61 
and 40 uh, and 40 upon 90 into 110 would be 48 okay so it's better not to uh, charge this to stores department and not to charge uh, in uh, 50 and uh, 40 percent instead 50 upon 90 and 40 upon 90 because we are not giving the store share for now so let us total this beta now as you can see using the reciprocal method or continuous allotment method beta all of the service department over it would have been uh, we have re reapportioned to the production department and finally from these production department we can absorb the overhead to products or the jobs that are being worked by these production department 